Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to our Friday Assembly, uh, right at the end of the month of May. Um, I thought I'd share with you this morning a, a few words from St. Matthew's Gospel. Um, the world is made up of different kinds of people, but many people can be divided into one of two groups. We have dreamers, people who think about doing things, consider doing things, investigate the possibility of doing things, and never do it. And then we have doers, people who actually do things and get things done. Uh, Jesus told a lovely story, a lovely parable of two sons in Matthew's Gospel. And when he was telling his disciples, he said, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. And he went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later, changed his mind and he went. Father went to the other son, said the same thing. He answered, I will go, sir. But he did not go. Which of these two did what his father wanted? Jesus asked of his disciples. And of course, the disciples answered, the first. So it is good to have dreams. It is good to decide that there are things that we would like in life, um, how we'd like to better ourselves. Perhaps we're chasing those very top grades. We want a very good job. Uh, we'd like to win awards in the future and so on. And all of those dreams, and those are good dreams. But of course, unless we're willing to put a plan into action, then they'll just remain dreams. They, they're, they're, they're just fantasies. Um, they're just fleeting notions. So I think at this time of coronavirus, it would be important, very important, that we have plans and a plan of action and that we put our plans um, actually into action. Um, and that would begin by having a plan for our day. Uh, a plan for when we get up, a time when we get up. Uh, it is important that we do simple things to give our day structure. And one of the most obvious things, very obvious things that we should do, I think, at the end of, uh, sorry, at the beginning of every day, is make our bed. Make your bed. And there is the beginning of a plan. There is the beginning of a structure for the day. And then that's a small thing. And of course, that leads to other things and other things and other things. But which one of these sons are you? Are you the one who says, well, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. But then you realize it is important that you do it and you do it. Or are you the other son that says, absolutely. Yes, sir. No problem. I'll do it. And then you don't. So we, most of us fit into one of those two categories. So if you want your dreams, your aspirations to become a reality, then you must put a plan in place to make it happen. And then you must work your way through that plan. That is the only way that we can get things done. Uh, I love there's a, there's a line uh, or a verse in, in Proverbs which says, he who works his land will have abundant food, but he who chases fantasies lacks judgment. And I think probably for all of us, including me, there is a very, very good lesson that if we want to turn our hopes, our dreams, our visions into reality, then we must have a plan of action. Hopefully you find that thought useful um, at this time. Let us pray. Lord, help us to act on our dreams with a plan of action, which is well thought out and in keeping with your principles and your teachings. Give us the wisdom to be able to discern between dreams and fleeting fantasies. For it is in Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. Folks, I will uh, do the final assembly um, of the year, which will take us towards the end of June. But in the meantime, on a Friday morning, we look forward to assemblies, uh, Lurgan College assemblies uh, from a range of 
our pupils um, from our uh, senior prefects uh, and also from our sporting teams um, and from uh, from the scripture union in school as well. So a range of people uh, who will uh, maybe just give you a break um, away from me, which I'm no doubt you will appreciate. And then I will come back again for the final assembly of the year. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves. Please take care. Please follow as strictly as possible the instructions that we are receiving from our government, who clearly are doing everything that they can to keep us safe. So please look after yourselves. Please look after your loved ones. And God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.